I'm gonna go by memory to see if I could start recognize. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I, I, no, no, Kurt, back up. Let's just get out of here, man. What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Melaloo Gaming. We're here with episode three of Greedful. Uh, for those of you who may have not seen the last couple episodes, Right now, we're doing the Heretic Hunt mission. Let's see how we get back to it. I think, I'm pretty sure it's J. If not, I'm just going to cycle through the menu here. Um, and basically, we found a smuggler, interrogated him about the heretics, uh, went to go see the heretics in their hideout, and I, I don't remember us disguising ourselves as, as a knot. Um, maybe that was after the fact. <laughs> Or else uh, that, that whole debacle where I was sneaking around wouldn't have happened. Um, but yeah, we're up to the part where we're going to try to convince the ambassador of the alliance, the bridge alliance, uh, to help us. So let's get to it. Let's see, how disguised am I? Am I am I rocking some, some clothes here? Let's see. Torso. I... I think this was the, the I mean the, I remember there was supposed to be an icon on your torso where you disguise yourself as some sort of faction I don't know if this is the icon I'm gonna risk it and just kind of walk in front of these guys and see what happens hello what can I do for you we're the relay you're dismissed finally we were starting to grow moss. Courage, me hearties. What? I could have did that. <laughs> I could have did that a long time ago. <laughs> well, again, I, I don't remember when I got this jacket. Um. Oh well. Let's discover where to find. I don't want to find my cousin Constantine yet. Uh, the man's probably hungover, drunk, all that jazz. We need, we need to do some convincing. Oh, we got some more Hawthorne. Oh, pushing. Okay. I'm trying to go by memory to see if I could start recognizing. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I, no, no, Kurt, back up. Let's just get out of here, man. Oh, ho, ho. whoops. Though so the knots are not appreciated there. Maybe I should wear something less, uh, less conspicuous. Get my doublet out. What happens if I double click? Okay, so double clicking does do a um, does equip. Okay, I don't want that to happen again. Use us, use us. Can't open that. All right. The dangerous streets of Serene. My goodness. All I want to do is do some uh. I'm convinced of some helping, you know, from one fellow heretic to another. Man, maybe we should get some sort of heretic anthem going. Really represent who we are. Cough, cough, slip not cough. My homie! Your Excellency. Lord de Sade. Oh, the enthusiasm. I would like to talk to you about a rather delicate matter. I am listening. A couple of historians have made a recent discovery concerning Matthäus, the founder of the mythical Teleme. And it seems that this is not to the liking of the Illuminated, or at least his more fervent subjects. These sinister hypocrites are going to want to burn them at the stake. Without a doubt. And that's why these poor people are begging you to offer them asylum. 
I would volunteer and consent to take them under my protection. But one good deed deserves another. You would like me to first take care of your charlatan? You will certainly prove to be an excellent legate. All right. Uh, I think we can make that happen. Speak again about this. All right, we'll do I that when we going. find your charlatan. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lord de Sade. Very good. Politics away! Alright, so where can we find our friends? We have convinced them. Okay, so find a charlatan. We go to over this bridge. Cut left. That's where we, that's where we got that money. Alright. I'm so glad that he sprints so fast. We'll make a short work of this map, map yet. Citizens, I present to you Panacea, the absolute cure of everything. Toothache, stomach ailment, and even an open wound. This potion heals all of that. And more still, this little file is the product of years of research and intensive labor. I hear you asking if this remedy can heal one from the Malachor. Alas, not yet. But your question is legitimate. I am so close to finding the cure, but the Malachor isn't the only ailment causing you to suffer. Not true? Then don't miss out on this chance and give yourself a healthy and energized life. Rejoice! A file only costs a few coins and well worth it to make your life shiny and new again. Does it really heal everything, your potion? Everything. Absolutely everything, except the Malachor, of course. That being said, it is known that those in top health resist the Malachor best of all. Then don't throw away this chance. Think of all the pains that this potion could help you avoid. You are right. It's a deal. I'm gonna take two. There's a man that knows a good deal when he sees one. Hurry now. There won't be enough for everyone. There he is. He's our man, no doubt. <laughs> His speech is well polished. I even feel like buying some. And if we had a word with him? I wonder if he'll serve us the same routine. I wonder if that uh, over-eager buyer was a plant. Because I'd be standing next to him like, Yo, dude, what what do you have that's uh, bugging you so harshly right now? He's like, yeah, I, I, need, I need like 10. Let's get 15. Ah, you're finally tempted. In all honesty, I haven't made up my mind yet. I want to be certain that I'm not dealing with a charlatan. In this day and age, I can't blame you. What might I do to convince you? Cut yourself. Are there any nasty side effects with this remedy of yours? There are none. You will feel nothing but an intense sense of well-being. Hmm. Sounds like drugs. Will you drink one of your potions to prove your good faith? Of course. I take a little sip every morning. But as I'm in perfect health, you won't be able to verify the improvement in my condition. But if it helps you make up your mind, give me just a moment. There now. As you see, I am still in excellent condition. Come on now, I saw you take that vial out of your pocket. Nothing proves that it's the same potion that you sell to your clients. As a man of science, I consider skepticism a remarkable quality. But in your case, it is not skepticism, but blindness. We need to steal one of these potions and force him to drink it. <laughs> Brilliant idea, Kurt. Let's take a look at his cart. <laughs> I like Kurt's idea. <laughs> we need to steal a potion and force him to drink it. Okay. 
take a look at his cart. I don't want to speak. Oh. Hmm. What about his cart, though? Is there, is there a separate cart around that he's referencing? Sire, I'm sorry. I'm afraid that I won't make for good. Have you finally made up your mind? That's my nice. Uh, hmm. <clears throat> so, ask about nasty side effects. Excuse me, I didn't have any of his um, panacea to clear up my throat there. But uh, I think if I follow that conversation line, I it's just going to be it. As you wish. repeating again. But don't wait long. It won't last forever. This is look around the cart. Uh, what's up, Kurt? What do you Green see? Blood. Do you need something? I must leave you. Look around the cart. Alright. Hmm. Have you finally made up your mind? I will think about it. As you wish. But don't wait long. It won't last forever. Um. He needs to take a look around his cart. Anything come up on the map? Oh. Okay. So there's a back area here. Maybe I could stick around and see if uh, <coughs> if he's hiding anything. Hmm, not quite, huh? No entrance back there. <laughs> you don't see me. You don't see me sneaking around. Ooh, there we go. Alchemical research book. These pages are covered in small, almost illegible handwriting. Experiment results patient observations and incomprehensible symbols but the complexity of some recipes leaves no room for doubt the author was a true alchemist and was certainly very knowledgeable charlatan's antidote oh <laughs> sounds like someone's gonna get poisoned letter from the innkeeper to the servant the weird alchemist of the alliance who rented a room upstairs oh louise sorry uh, who rented a room upstairs specifically asked us not to clean it during his stay this old fool must not want us to accidentally break his vials or something so leave him in his filth the customer is always right to my help whoa buddy and death to the others <laughs> that was great. Oh, Kurt, you alright, man? Alright, good. Good. Yeah, things did get dicey. Who was hanging around back here? I hope they were friends with the charlatan, because I'm gonna I'm gonna bring him back a hat and say, listen, you're going back empty handed. Back to whence you came. Kurt, you're on fire? Green blood. Do you need something? I was just wondering I why your spark went red. Oh, I guess he was aggroed. Had to calm down a little bit. More gold. All right, charlatan. Let's talk. 
We got some splaining to do. Have you finally made up your mind? About you? Oh yeah. I happen to have a vial of your medicine. Would you be willing to drink it in front of us? To prove that there is no risk. This bullying is trying my patience. I'm beginning to suspect that you might be working for a rival. You refuse to taste it. You might have put something in it to cause me harm or further disgrace. No, look. The vial is still sealed. It comes straight from your stock. And you dare challenge me when you have just admitted to being a thief. Come now. You can see for yourself that I'm gladly returning your vial so that you might drink it in front of witnesses. This might help to dissipate my doubts, as well as those of these brave folk. Yes, no, I... You don't have the right! Damnation. He got away. He can't have gone far. Find him before his head ends up what? on a spike. What? Where did he back even... To the note that we found. We need to take a look at the tavern. He won't leave the city without his belongings. You're right. You're right. Where is this tavern? Negotiate with the vendor. Is that, that that oh here's the tavern right here. How did he dip so fast? Completing quests. In Greedfall, a quest can usually be completed in several different ways. The Sade has more than one string to his bow. Cunning, persuasion, intuition, corruption, creating creating items from the crafting table will be some of the means available to you to reach your goals. To improve in these areas, spend points in the corresponding talent tree or wear equipment that offers bonuses. Threats in combat are also options when your enemies are not receptive to your talent. Good day, tavern keeper. Good day to you. What is your pleasure? Well, this conversation, my fine man. How is business going these days? It's picking up. We've not seen many new customers, but of late, things are looking better. The Malachor and the neighboring wars have dampened commerce. The epidemic still rages, but the possibility of finding a cure on that island has given people something to hope for. Now that we have a city there, quite a few seafarers come by to spend their wages. Has the Malachor really put a damper on your business? <laughs> More than a damper. They were soaked. When the sickness began to spread, a wave of panic followed in its wake. People stopped going out of their homes. They were afraid. I was close to closing shop, I tell you. And then, thankfully, the alchemists of the bridge said that you couldn't just catch it like that. People were still distrustful, as is their nature, but they are leaving home again. It's a start. I also lost quite a few regular customers. Dead or too scared to venture back. Oh, but that's nothing new to you. <laughs> the city would have sunk in the water if not for trade with the new isle. With all these sailors coming and going, you must have heard some stories about Tear D. Right. Even stories that my heaviest drinkers would have trouble believing. They say that man trees live there. Dragons and gigantic creatures. Treasure abounds under every rock. And the source of eternal life is hidden somewhere there. <laughs> Last night, some noughts even told me they brought back one of those giant beasts into the pool. Ah, but you know the kind. If you ask my opinion, the drink was fueling their imaginations. Hmm. So I'm not going to ask about Constantine. We're not going to do off. that quest line yet. Farewell. Goodbye. I forgot that symbol was actually a main quest. We're looking for uh, something of the side variety. They said go into the tavern. The upper floor. Find a charlatan. Sweet. Go down. Go up. I mean, I still would have liked to seen him at least run. He just kind of disappeared. I'm wondering if um, there was an animation for a trap door or something. <laughs> or he used a smoke bomb. Hmm. 
Hmm. Gonna be in this room? He is. So let's go over here first. Ooh. Ooh, storeroom key. Oh, I am gonna do some thievery. I gotta get a lockpick kit or something. Oh, yeah. Charlatan, put on your clothes. You again? What are you doing in my room? I'm not the only one that has found you. Have you seen the mob that is gathering in the street? I'm neither deaf nor blind. <sighs> By the spheres. Why didn't I leave the city while there was still time? The Alliance Ambassador is quite unsettled by your commerce, and he is the one who sent me. Sahin! Him again. Ruining my career wasn't enough for him. He's the very reason I had to leave the Alliance. And here I am, playing the part of the Potion Maker. Me, who was once a respected member of the Academy of al -Sad. Hold up. Respected member? Dude, you're selling potions that's practically poison. Dr. Sahin warned me that you were an imposter. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me coming from him. I was a master alchemist. I understand if you don't believe me after all that, but I have a number of documents to prove it. I would still be one if Sahin hadn't set up a chain of machinations to disgrace me. Dr. Sahin warned Ooh. me that you were an imposter. <laughs> That doesn't surprise me, coming from him. I was a master alchemist. I understand if you don't believe me after all that. But I have a number of documents to prove it. I would still be one if Sahin hadn't set up a chain of machinations to disgrace me. Why does Sahin bear you such hatred? I wasn't fortunate enough to oppose certain great minds of the Academy. To criticize their methodology. I saw them inflicting torture on sick prisoners. Making them drink the most vile poisons. To find a remedy to the Malachor, they won't hesitate to kill. I could not keep my silence. It is for an act of courage that you fell from grace and earned Sahin's hatred. Are you not ashamed to have poisoned those poor souls? These potions are not harmful. That is to say that they don't contain any harmful ingredients. But you could just as easily produce real healing potions. So why don't you? You don't understand. I fled, but I haven't put a stop to my own research. This potion is an attempt to create in those who drink it a resistance to the Malachor. So you manipulate people to use this experimental fodder? That is completely unethical. I don't have a choice, but it does not harm them, I assure you. If this potion were inoffensive, then why wouldn't you drink it when I offered it to you? I ran tests on myself for such a long time that I ended up becoming intolerant to it. A small sip of this mixture provokes in me now a violent reaction. I mean, the mob would have been furious in any case, but a normal dose, I assure you, is without risk. Your methods don't seem so different than those of your colleagues. I don't torture people. And this potion only has side effects in high doses. Perhaps, but you're hurting innocents. I cannot let your commerce continue. So, what are you going to do with me, sir? Cool. I don't agree with your methods, buddy. I'm sorry, but I don't trust you. I'm going to deliver you to Dr. Sahin. Sir, I beg you to spare me. I've heard enough. You're under arrest. How unjust. I think it's very just. Letter from an alchemist. Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Letter from an alchemist from al -Sat. <clears throat> Dear Arif, I am genuinely sorry to learn that you have not found the peace you were hoping for in Serene. Since your departure from the Academy, the situation has been deplorable. Those you had accused are now behaving as if the rules did not apply to them, regularly performing questionable experiments. And there is nothing the rest of us can do apart from keeping a low profile. I sincerely hope that you will eventually find some place where you can be at peace. Your friend. I am finished. 
Sahin is going to throw me in the bottom of a deep cell, if not worse. Ah, you'll get over it. Oh. Oh, I could just, uh, fast travel. That's convenient. <laughs> Your Excellency, Lord de Sade. I tracked down your man near the coin guard barracks. Finally. Did you capture him? Let's just say I put an end to his activities. His reputation in Serene is forever tarnished. Matters turned out a little more complicated than anticipated. He is hiding in a room in the coin guard tavern. Why didn't you have him arrested? Angry citizens have gathered round the building. They have sworn to avenge themselves after discovering his fraud. I decided it better to avoid the mob. But if you wish to capture him alive, I advise you hurry. Governor Buren will be happy to learn that a legate with great assiduity will soon be joining the island of Tirfredi. Thank you for your help, Excellency, and allow me to offer you this modest present for your voyage. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lord de Sade. I was wondering if it was going to be a hat. Your Excellency. Lord de Sade. Oh, man, every time he says it, it's just a wonderful feeling. Now that your affair is taken care of, are you planning on helping the historians I spoke to you about? We are willing. Where are they to be found at this time? At the Port of Serene. They were hoping to stow away discreetly on a vessel to Al Saad. Very well. I shall send an escort immediately to take them somewhere safe. Right on. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lord de Sade. We owe you our lives. We are eternally grateful. It was nothing. I hope you won't have too much difficulty adapting to your new country. If you would allow me, I would like to give you this. It's not much, but it is all that we possess. Farewell. You have a kind heart, Greenblood. It'll be the end of you, but that doesn't bother me. I wouldn't have wanted those poor buggers to end up on a burning pyre. It would seem that I'm not the only one with a tender heart. Tender hearts unite. Well... Everyone, thank you for watching. Uh, we did a lot in this episode. <laughs> I kind of didn't expect both of those missions to meld together. Um, but we did it. We got those historians uh, possibly on safe passage. So far, things seem to be well. <laughs> and uh, we arrested that charlatan. Because, I mean, dude, you can't be selling that stuff on the street like that. If you're going to do it, there's the shadier alleyways. There's um, trench coats that you could have worn. You didn't have to have a big elaborate show. And uh, expose random innocent people to some weird black goo. But in any case, thank you all for watching. Take care and have a great day.